Hey. Hey. Hey, everybody. It's the program. Here we are. Your daily hour with me. Yeah, Mike. Are you, can we hear you, Mike? Or can we hear you, Dan? Yeah. I don't oh. know. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, yeah. yeah. I think it's better now. Well, hey, what happens here on the program? We turn on the machines. We start talking. We talk uh, for an hour, and that's the program. Look, it's Dan. Oh, it didn't work. What the? <laughs> oh, there. I saw for a second. Where is it? There it is. Look, Dan. That's who he is. That's his name. Yeah. yeah that's my name. Monday this is, Dan. This is Mike's contribution to the program. Now we can show this man's name on the screen. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Okay. Your contribution covers up Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> Dan. It's Dan. There's the phone number, and this is on the program. So that's a new thing we're doing now. We have the uh, the overlays that with the that's the first technical advisory thing that Mike has done for us here. So yeah, Dan, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm okay. I uh, went to a doctor this morning. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. What what for? Well, I'm gonna have surgery uh, in a couple weeks. Oh. Why? Um. Is it <laughs> private? Cause you brought it up. I didn't bring it up yet. Uh, I have a. Uh, I have um, uh, uh, a skin thing that it's like it's like I have this boil that keeps coming back, <laughs> and it's really gross. And you guys are eating so. And it comes back all the time, and, and it's like it's like get, having a reoccurring zit that happens in the same the uh, in the same place over and over again. I've had this for ten years. This is this is pretty terrible. Oh, but that's not major surgery, though. Right? That's like kind of oh, they're putting me out. But it's it's on your skin, though. They're not like cutting yeah. you up, and this is like cutting off your skin. No. Well, that's good. I mean, out of things you need surgery for, that sounds like one of the, the lesser things. Yeah, but I still don't like it. I'm, yeah. I'm still unhappy about it. I'm still anxious about it. I'm still... Nobody likes surgery. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm like, hey, man, do you have to use general anesthesia? Can't you just, you know, give me some Novocaine? <laughs> just local Novocaine? And he's like, mm, no. Yeah. So, yeah, but we, 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 had, a good, we had a good conversation. It's kind of... Kind of, and tomorrow I'm going to see another doctor tomorrow. Because mm -hmm. last week, what happened? Last week I went to see my doctor. Uh, actually, no. Last week I saw a dermatologist. Yeah. And I complained about this uh, this recurring little this little thing. And uh, and uh, um. Uh, Did you usually get that removed? Well, yeah, she referred me to the surgeon dude. And then a week before that, I saw my regular doctor. And so tomorrow I go and I uh, get my results of all my blood tests. Yeah. Because I went, I went for like, you know, like a, a, an annual. I hadn't been, actually I hadn't seen the doctor in like two years. So I had to do my biannual, I guess. Or I don't know, whatever that's called. And, and I should actually go every Physical. year. Pardon? Physical? Yeah. Yeah, so they uh, took a whole bunch of blood, and, and uh, my blood pressure is always good, and my cholesterol has always been good, and because uh, I do my runs, right? I do my walks. Yeah, your exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and because of that, my uh, blood pressure is good, my heart rate is low, my cholesterol is down, my, my A1C is down, my uh, uh, what else? Bunch of bunch of shit. All all the shit that should be good is good. Good. And all the shit that is bad, I don't got so much of that. But That's because, good. Because I like to drink more than I should, um, I think that messes with my liver a little bit. So, I'm going to get yelled at probably tomorrow and say, you dumbass! Do they know about that? Yeah, I'm pretty honest. But did they, I mean, did they look at your liver? Well, they, they do... Um, they look for liver enzymes. There's like three or four different liver enzymes that if your liver is not happy, if you've got sclerosis or if you've got, uh, what's another, sclerosis of the liver. Another one is uh, cirrhosis. Cirrhosis, yeah. 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 What Mike said. That's really bad. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's where your liver is dead. Hmm. Parts of your liver have, have just died. They're just they're they're just dead cells. But your your liver is not dead yet, right? As far as I know, um, I mean, you don't they, have any jaundice, so you look okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If my eyes turn yellow, that's a bad sign. Yeah, if your eyes turn yellow, you gotta stop drinking. Yeah, I like having a martini or two when I get home from work. So, you yeah. know, do you, but do you what shake it, when you wake up in the morning? Uh, I have, not all the time. <laughs> no, sometimes that's though. a that's a sign, isn't it? Like, what do you mean shake? That's DTs, yeah. Yeah, DTs. No. Uh-uh. Yeah, well, that's good. Cool. But anyway. Yeah. I've heard about that. I've heard about that. I mean, um, sometimes I'm kind of nervous, and so you know, I'm, a little, I'm a little shaky sometimes. And uh, if my blood sugar is low, I definitely can Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a it's different. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. I wonder. I wonder about that. I wonder about that. So, yeah. So, so if I get yelled at, then I'm going to have to have only one martini yeah. before bed. That just seemed to, apparently it's, okay, it's normal to have like three, four drinks, like three, four beers. It's considered normal. I don't, I don't know. Oh, well, then I'm okay. Yeah, I don't know what the deal with that is, but... Uh, Oh, there was a recent study. People who have three or four drinks uh, a day um, live longer or healthier. They have fewer diseases. Really? That many drinks? Yeah. It's one to three. One to three? Yeah, I shouldn't have said three or four. Yeah, I should well, say one to three. Yeah. And it's not, you know, straight shots or straight glasses and vodka yeah. or something. You know, that's not a drink. That's <laughs> that's a bit more. Yeah. Well, I have, I have a martini and I have the vermouth and the gin and I mix it up. Put an olive in it, and I use I'm the. I'm not accusing you. I'm just talking about this. Yeah. Oh no, you're fine. Are you accusing? No. Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I said I <laughs> No. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I realized that that was that was pretty clear. So. Oh whoa, we have another camera. Wow. Yeah. Hello, camera two. Mike Mike thinks that we, we shouldn't use a switcher because it's, he thinks he's going to mess something up, but uh, it's been working so far. Well, yeah. I mean, it works. And just saying. Yeah. I, it's a, it's just a pet peeve of mine. Yeah, it works for you. So. Mike's a technical advisor. We have a lot of technical problems on this show, so you have your work cut out for you. <laughs> like, I just, I just do what I can, and I, I guess I technically don't even know what's going on. My, my job is to whine and snivel every Monday about stuff. Yeah, and things. Oh, um, well, I hear some some about Mormon that. stuff about Mormons. I think that was last week when we were going to talk about that. Oh yeah, yeah. we didn't hear like the handshake. Yeah, I'm going to show you a secret handshake. Yeah. Wait, Mormon handshake? Oh yeah, secret. What about the the special underwear? Do they have that still? Oh yeah, yeah. They have, we talked about that in the past. Uh huh. <laughs> special <laughs> underwear. Yeah, they have the secret markings on them. Oh the Mormons my. won't discuss them. Did you know Dan was a Mormon for? Yeah, 26 years. Have you, have you been ex- excommunicated from your family and all your friends? Or no, I left. I escaped, and they tried for a long time to get me back. They call you like every day, come to your house, and be like, you should come back. Yeah, for a while, until I, uh, I left the state. I stopped talking to them. They uh, they will oh, send they, emails. They find you. Posts. They will try to find you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm surprised, you know, because uh, what the hell is the point, you know? Why, why, why do you do that? They want you to go to, they, they're trying to save you. Well, they want your money. No, I want their money, actually. Uh, they, my uh, grandpa and grandma were really rich, and they gave the, all their children all kinds of money, and the children were supposed to pass some of that down. And I didn't get shit. So but I the, were they Mormons, that. too? Oh, Mormon yeah. Now? Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I've been excommunicated. I, I, uh, uh, I created my own church, so oh. technically I should have been excommunicated. Are you, are you a televangelist too? Or are you no, just, no, 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 no. How no. many how many generations of Mormons do you think your family goes uh, back? Four. Oh wow. Oh boy. So well, you're back to Brigham Young. Oh wow. Yeah, eighteen sixty. So you were the first forty. The first not Mormons, huh? Yeah, yeah. I had to I had to leave. My parents did awful things to me, and I started remembering it when I. Turned 27. Yeah. Had these flashbacks of terrible things that were done, and 
I tried confronting them and tried talking to my other brothers and sisters about it, and they got all upset, and the church wouldn't acknowledge oh, yeah. anything, and, and uh, you know. Uh, I, know, I know plenty of recovering uh, Mormons and Catholics, and, you know. They had shit happen when they oh, were yeah, children, yeah, and yeah. then they remember it as adults, and then, and then they try and talk about it, and just, just deny, 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 deny. Uh, it's pretty terrible. Well, listen, if you know any other Mormons uh, that this has had this, uh, give them my number. Mormon right. support. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know how much they really want to be out yeah. about, you know, I don't know. It's well, it's well like I've so. been open about it. I've been open about it uh, ever from the beginning. I've been very, very open about it. And, uh, you know, they don't have to be open about it. But it's really, really, really helpful to know that there are other Mormons that 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 remember and acknowledge, and uh, you know you don't necessarily want to talk about it, but it's good to know that you're not alone. Yeah, maybe you should know. start a, a support group for ex Mormons. Yeah, like a and like a it's like AA but for Mormons. Well, what's weird is I've met Jehovah's Witnesses that have been through similar kinds of stuff. I've met uh, people that were abused in the Freemason, uh, the Freemason community, same kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's not all the Mormons per se. It's not all the Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. It's a small group within them that twist the regular doctrine into something that will give them access and make them feel powerful, and uh, and they can they can use all kinds of. Uh, guilt and shame and conditioning and programming to get people within this little inner circle to do what they want. Uh, and that's what happened to me. So, so, so it wasn't, you know, it wasn't regular Mormons that uh, <laughs> stuff like this happened. Regular Mormons have odd and bizarre rituals anyway, you know, outside of my experience, but, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, it's 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 common enough that the experience by the people that have survived this kind of nonsense uh, is kind of consistent, uh, regardless of the organization that it happens in. Yeah. You know, and they're they're typically male centric organizations that get people to go along so that they can feel important and powerful. And they can have lots and lots of sex. <laughs> Isn't that what polygamy is all about? Or yeah. Yeah. The guy. So the guy can have lots and lots of sex. And children result, of course. But, uh, you know, he's doing it as often as he can with as many as he can. Which is just annoying. Annoying. Well, so. let's check this first message. All right. Robert. Um, so Robert I'm Cam. on for Wednesday to be on the program. I, I might be a little bit later than 12, maybe like 12.30. That sounds I good. And uh, I, I've got some more theme songs for you. So um, hopefully you'll like one of these and, and maybe I can get a check from you on Robert Wednesday. King. Yeah. Um, you know, I, you're, what you're giving me is, is very generous. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but um, for that <laughs> kind of money... Hell, I, I, I could do a daily theme show, show uh, song for you. But um, I'm not, you know, I, I, I know we've, we've got a lot of different theme songs because every time I, I make one, I give it to you and you say, no, I was thinking more of this and, and I work with you and gosh, i got all kinds of different things you wanted rap. I give you a rap. Uh, gospel, I tried to get, I, I, the gospel ones are real silly, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm not really a gospel uh, composer, so I really didn't know what I was doing there. But yes, for gospel, so I gave you gospel. Let's see, we got so many already. We'll, maybe we'll just go every day. We'll just have a, a new theme song for every yeah. day. So, wow. um, you know, I'll, but but I'll see you on Wednesday. We'll we'll talk about it then. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get that check from you. Okay. All right. Okay. Later. Yeah. Have you heard these theme songs, Dan? I've heard a lot of them. Are you? YGHWM YGHWM Every night, 11.30 p.m. YGHWM YGHWM 
YDHWM every night, 11.30 p.m. Yeah. That's <laughs> like uh, Dick Doug or uh, Pac-Man or they, Mario Brothers. I think they call it the 8-bit. 8-bit, eight eight yeah. Yeah. Okay. A video there's game a, There's a whole scene of 8-bit music. So. Yeah, that was he's, Robert. So. He's pretty creative. He's come up with a lot of stuff. Yeah, we've got a lot of... He, he has a lot of songs. That's going to be Robert. He's uh, scheduled for the program next Wednesday. So if you guys watch that one... Not... Not two days from now? No. A week, a week from Wednesday? Yeah. Okay. And two days from now, it's um, John Farinelli. So we have a big, we have a, a good schedule coming up here. Today, it's you. And then tomorrow, we have Allison. And then Wednesday, John Farinelli is going to bring his documentary about the program. We're going to sh- show it on the show so here. So, so uh, just, uh, I'm just really curious. I haven't talked to him since. Did he finish it? Or did, did he, he did. get what he need to get turned in in time for the for the final yeah. project it's not school. completed still though but i think he says he's going to make it into a feature length documentary like a long thing he has enough fracking material yeah. god well apparently he said that year he shot your footage in wrong somehow and he wants to interview you again because oh. he i think he said that it, it looked weird he he did something weird with his camera where he didn't weight well, balance correctly or something yeah he uh his batteries weren't charged and he, he yeah. ran out of power and uh, yeah he was having issues that day so yeah I'd love to do uh, an interview with him so uh, John if you're watching now uh, yeah yeah we'll set up a time come Can over to my place and uh, and uh, I'll show you my paintings maybe we'll call him I think maybe we'll be able to play stuff off the computer too I don't know this thing, if we can get stuff onto it, we can get an external hard drive and we can put videos onto there. We can show yeah. videos off of yeah, it. Yeah, we can totally do that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, you just need... Do we have a, yeah, we can already key it in, so we can probably just show that as a regular video, too, right? Yeah, we can, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking if you had a shelf, like a shelf, you could put all these decks, and then you could have your mixer here and this other mixer on this all on the table so they were accessible like all yeah the were in a, like a shelf or something you that'd be good mean? yeah yeah i want to go to o- o- olympia mean? salvage and get some wood and build some shelves into the studio uh i want to get some video shelves too <laughs> kenny wants to get wood <laughs> here's another message hey kenny it's nick uh call this man i'm gonna make the uh, complication. I mean, none of them. So, uh, yeah, give me calls up to see what the time you guys do with us. All right. Yeah, that was Nick. He was going to be on the show, but, uh, he isn't here, so we're going to find out why. Um, yeah, you knew Nick, uh, was at the station, right? He was doing stuff at the station before, right? Right, what are you Red, red-headed Nick? Tall no. Nick? No? No, that's a different Nick. He was on the show in the past, though. That Nick. Yeah, I think. yeah. He drooled on the pizza. Drooled on the pizza? Mm-hmm. We made Hello? Hey, Nick. Hey. Hey, how you doing? It's the program. Hey, what's up, the program? Hey, what's up, Nick? This is also the program. Hey, who's this? This is Monday Dan. Oh, hi, Monday Dan. How you doing? Oh, good. How are you doing, Nick? I'm doing, I'm doing well. Um, there's a torrential downpour going on in my house right now. It's pretty oh. crazy to watch, actually. Oh, no. Where are you at? I'm up in Granite Falls. Oh, okay. Granite Falls. Yeah, we're here with Mike also. Mike's our, our, the new technical advisor. He found him on the show. He called in, and he's uh, on the crew now. Yeah. Wow. You guys are... It's, the show is growing daily. It's getting more and more professional every time I talk to you. Yeah, actually, Mike's a pro. He's he's giving us some pro gear. It is. <laughs> we get, he gave us his he gave us his thing, and it says for commercial use only. <laughs> what? Uh, it says on on his one of his machines. Oh, so yeah, yeah oh. The, the tape deck does say that. Yeah. So now oh. now we're we we can only use it for commercials. Yeah. Now. We have to we we're commer- we must be using <laughs> it for commercial use now. Yeah. Do we have any commercials to roll? Yep. All right. One. Uh, we have one. <laughs> so Nick, you're supposed to be here today. Where 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 are you? Well, I'm in Grand Falls right now. I was supposed to be here today. I'm supposed to be moving down to Portland today, actually, and I was going to stop by on the way. Mm-hmm. Um, but 
Unfortunately, um, yep. upon inspecting my car yesterday, uh, you know, in anticipation of driving it down to Portland, um, I found that somebody had stolen my taillights off my truck. So, yeah. What? So I'm waiting. I'm waiting for my taillights to come in the mail um, so that I can install them and, and drive they, legally. So that really? These people can tell when I stop and you know. They stole your tail lights? Like the whole fixture? Yeah. Were they were they after? Yeah, the, the the housing and the lens and all. There's just like wires. The, were they uh, after hanging out of things? hanging out of the back of my truck? Huh? Were they special? Like aftermarket? No, they were just stock, regular tail lights. I guess somebody had I guess broken their tail lights and wanted mine. Took them. What what year is your vehicle? The '89 Toyota pickup truck. Oh, those are pretty common. Those are yeah, pretty they common. are common. I know somebody that ripped off a driver's side mirror because they wanted one. <laughs> of somebody's yeah. car. That's oh. How do you disattach a mirror? You just pull it off? Yeah, there's screws over there. Oh, okay, yeah, someone just walking around with a screwdriver, removing taillights and, and, and side view mirrors. Yeah, I guess. It's yeah, that's I mean, crazy. They're real man. cheap people, I guess. I don't know. Well, how yeah. it, it Wait, takes you a while to screw it, that. Yeah, Nick, isn't your your whole neighborhood's like abandoned too, right? So they like went into your abandoned neighborhood to like seek it out. Yeah, I don't. Know. I mean, I don't know. I suspect a few people in my neighborhood. Like, it's pretty much abandoned where I'm at. Um, and actually, one of my neighbors saw it in like a state of disassembly, but he thought that I was. I was doing it or something. He saw the taillights laying behind my car, like when he's leaving for work in the morning. Oh. So like. Apparently, like, I don't know, they were stealing him in the morning and they must have saw him coming out and they yeah. hid in the bushes yeah. and he drove by and they came yeah. back out and finished taking him off. got scared. Yeah, yeah. tweakers. That yep. sounds like a, a very method kind of thing to do. Do you suspect tweakers, Nick? Um, I suspect, yeah, I mean... I could say it'd probably be tweakers. I know I know meth is kind of on the decline around here, but definitely it's a definite possibility. And there are a lot of tweakers in my neighborhood, so yeah, it was mm. probably tweakers. People don't have the disposable yeah. income for meth now. They've got to buy actual yeah. food, <laughs> pay <laughs> rent. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you don't you don't buy food from drugs. <laughs> well, you got to eat something. No, no, no. You just keep going, and then you go to the hospital, and you do it over again. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, Nick, when do you think you're going to come back? Are you going to come through here when you go to Portland the next time, man? I've never done that. So. Yeah, I'll probably stop by. Um, my taillights are supposed to come in tomorrow, so I'll get them thrown on there and possibly head down tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening? So you I think you're going to be in town on on Wednesday, or are you going to be in Olympia? Um, well, if I, I mean, if I was, I would probably just stop. I probably wouldn't stay the night in Olympia. I'd probably just, like... You know, stop by, say hi, and stuff on the way. Oh um, well, but yeah, probably either Wednesday, either Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. Um, you should. I if you wanted to be on the program, I think it'd be better on Wednesday. But uh, you know, I Wednesday? guess you, you might miss the program. Cause tomorrow we're gonna do it at three thirty. But uh, Allison says she doesn't like to she doesn't like to talk to people. But maybe you can be on one anyway. Yeah. She doesn't like to talk. Yeah. To yeah, but even if she wants to be on the show. Though. Yeah, she doesn't. She said she said she doesn't want to meet new people if I, if she's on the show. She already knows me. It's Allison Riffer, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can be on here then, I guess. Yeah. I know. I know her. That's going to be tomorrow at 3.30. Okay. So, 3.30 tomorrow. Uh, that's tomorrow? Yeah. And then what time Wednesday are you doing it? Um, we're scheduled for 2 o'clock, but that's probably uh, negotiable. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's play on Wednesday then. All right. What, do you, what time do you think you want to come down? you think you can make it by 2? Yeah, yeah, I probably, yeah, probably, yeah, two-ish would be good. Um, yeah, because I'll probably leave here around noon. All right, then, then we'll leave that. We'll leave that on there, and I'll move you over to Wednesday, and then you're scheduled for that. Um, so, anything exciting happening? Are you gonna bring your dog with you? Uh, I can't bring my dog with me at the moment, just because I don't have. I have to get a place that. Because uh, I'm just gonna be staying with like Shane and Nash until. I get like a permanent residence. Oh, and I can right. bring a dog. So I'm just I'm just gonna be flying solo until I get you know my place going. That's a fun place. Yeah. That's Portland. Uh, Portland's real happening. Hey, Mike, you you uh -huh. Mike, you hang out in Portland. You're from Oregon, right? Yeah. Me? Oregon. No, Mike. Mike here in the studio. He's from Oregon. 
Do you, do you hang out in Portland when you're there? Uh, I have some friends there, but, you know, I'm normally just going to, like, a heap of bar or something, but just passing through. Yeah. I don't do much there. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty, it's a happening place right now. It's where all the kids are at. They're moving there. <laughs> yeah, that's what, they have a show. There's a television show now, too. Yeah. Well, that'll be exciting. Well, hey, Nick, we'll see you on Wednesday, okay? Okay, I'll see you on Wednesday. Okay, good luck with your car. All right. Okay, bye-bye. All right, Bye. Thanks. Bye. Well, hopefully he finds his uh his car, I guess, or his taillights. It says they're coming in the mail, so yeah, that sucks. He just like kind of takes stuff from cars, I guess, because they're just like screw, screwable. I guess you could just take people that start taking stuff. You know, they say like they're taking everything that's not nailed down, but that w- is nailed down. <laughs> well, it's screwed down. Yeah, they took it anyway, down. yeah. Close enough. Yeah. So have, you, have either of you guys seen the new X-Men movie? Nope. Yes, yes I have. Oh. Uh, one to ten. Oh, what happened? Ten being super awesome. You like the movie? Yeah. Sucking uh, ass. Well, I don't know. I don't really like the X-Men series of movies. So I can't... But this is a, a reboot. A reboot, right? This yeah. is not in the... Well, well it's a prequel. It, it's not yeah, Brian it's Singer, though, is it? The director, you know? Yeah. I'm not a fan of prequels. I don't know. Six... Okay. Is it? It's, it's not Brian Singer, you know, the director of the other X Men, right? It's a different director. You know about that, or? No, I didn't. I didn't. Somebody just. What do you think, Dan? I I'm gonna go see it tonight. Oh, is That's it Brian Singer though? It's not. Is it? You, you, you don't know you, about the director? I have no idea. You're the one with the internet over there. Yeah, we're gonna look at it on the internet, but uh, so Brian Singer, Brian Singer was the director of the other ones. I think he's not the director of this one, so it's kind of like a new movie. X Men First Class. Um. Yeah, so you're going to go see that one tonight, Dan? You're going to go to the mall? Yeah, no, I'm going to the, the other one. Yeah, Lacey. Lacey is better. I don't like the mall theater that much. I think the, I would rather go to the Lacey theater. Yeah. Do they have IMAX out there on Martin Way? Yeah. I don't think it's real IMAX, yeah. though. They say it's IMAX, but it's not like, you know, you go to like Seattle or some other big IMAX theater. It's like, whoa, but their IMAX theater just seems like a big theater. Does it have the jacked up seating? Um, I mean, a little bit, but it's... Is, is the is the screen curved? Yeah, it doesn't seem as amazing as the ones in Seattle. It's directed, oh. it's not, it's directed by somebody else, so... It's by the director... Oh, let's see, where was the director? What did he direct? Director. So, yeah. The, uh, looks pretty good. Well, oh, he directed you know, Kick-Ass. It's by the director of Kick-Ass. I really liked the movie Kick-Ass. That movie was really good. It's so like, if if the story makes sense, if it's self-contained, if you're not relying on, on magical events to save the day... Uh, uh, Isn't that the whole point of X-Men, though? I mean, yeah. Kind of magical. Well, no, no. I mean, it's like, uh, in the, the ending of the last movie, right? Um... Uh, uh, Wolverine mm-hmm. had to deal with the Dark Phoenix group. Yeah. And he didn't do anything that was outside of his normal abilities and skills to save the day. That's what I'm talking about. Where they don't suddenly develop this, this temporary <laughs> magical <laughs> power or, you know, something something that's outside of the normal Cannon. within the movie. Yeah. yeah Follows yeah. Canon. Yeah, yeah. Well, but it's also got to follow the logic within the movie itself. Yeah. You don't suddenly acquire a new ray gun or a new special skill to solve the problem to close the film so to speak you know what i mean yeah something like that that's that's what i'm talking about that that's sounds, that's yeah. what i'm talking about so that sounds like a good one i want to see green lantern like a lot is that oh the green is that when is, is that out yet or is that I, it's coming i think uh, in a couple weeks i think i wanted to see um the black Green Lantern. I think it's kind of weird they went back into the older one because I think the modern Green Lantern is a black guy. They moved him now, so they well, want to show the, the original was a white dude. Yeah, a long time ago, but they revamped it. I wanted to see the new one. I want to see like Shaq. Shaq is the Green Lantern or something. Uh, oh, that'd be good. Oh, halfway through the program. Hey, do you want to show your uh, that uh, you want to do a, a, a drawing? We could do. We could try to g- draw from one of your prizes. Yeah. 
Am I going to grab one of those prizes from over there? There's a box to your left there. Yeah, and then I see the box. Oh, yeah. We'll get a prize. We'll do a drawing yeah. for the prize. Just randomly pick out a prize. Yeah. Nut. Oh, oh, yeah, the prize box. Yeah, we can give that thing away. Nice. It's Remember the glowing guy. It glows, too. Does it really glow? Does, or doesn't it? I thought it did glow. It's yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. And it's all strobe. It's a light yeah. up. It's got a couple eyeballs. So here we go. Here's the mop draw. There's a dollar. That's the only dollar we ever got okay. from the program. Dan gave us that dollar. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one that bought a raffle ticket for one dollar. Yeah. So what else is in there? There's a lot of raffle tickets. What's that all yeah. about? Oh, yeah, Mike, you don't have a raffle ticket, huh? So pick one. Okay. Yeah. Emily. 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 That's my little sister. Really? She won the drawing, yeah. Is yeah. Number? Let's call her. Is there a, is there a number on there? Yeah, it is. Do we want to say that out no, loud? No, don't say it out loud. It's good to me. We'll call her. Let me see. My sister won the, the the drawing. She wins this little toy. Not like... I'm sure she has a lot of little knick-knacky toys. But <laughs> you want some extra toys? This, this, this kind of needs to be washed. <laughs> oh, it's just dirty. dust. It's dirty. It's just dust. Here. You called has a voicemail box that has not been uh -oh. called yet. They're more. Oh, we guess what? Michael's just dust. It's been sitting on my shelf for years. Uh, okay. Their voicemail didn't didn't go, so we got to do another one. Okay, we're doing a different one for years. Yeah, you p you picked somebody with a with a bad voice uh voicemail system there. So here we go. Micah. Micah. Yeah, we call Micah. He won. Micah hasn't been to the new studio either. He's on the show a couple times in the past. Anyway. Well, Micah is due. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Calling Micah. <laughs> See if he gets an answer. Come on, Micah! Yeah, Micah, what are you doing? Where are you? You get this thing that's been on Mike's head. Oh. Forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Mike, I now. Yeah, it is dirty, isn't it? Yeah. Please record your message. Don't take much. Time. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options to leave a callback number. Press five. Hey, Mike, that's the program. Uh, you want a drawing? You want this little t uh, googly toy thing that glows? So if you want to claim your prize, you just got to call us back. You know the number here. See how you're doing. See how it's going with you. Uh, call us back. Yeah, okay, bye-bye. That was Micah. Didn't answer. Hey, Mike, you think we should do a different phone system? You think this is a good phone system? Yeah, it'll work. It's working? You don't, you don't have any technical advice about this phone system? You're just, you're just doing audio out from the computer, right? Yeah. That's fine. I don't oh. I guess it is working. You know, I think I kind of sometimes think we should just get a phone, like a regular phone or something. Well. Hey, McDonald's. Okay. Hello. McDonald's. I was hearing something. Yeah, I thought I heard somebody. They're very quiet. Hello. Uh, I don't know. That McDonald's is super quiet. I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, for your phone, I mean, I don't know how you, how you sending the audio back to the computer. Through the auxiliary stands. So you actually have it hooked in. Like you don't have a microphone sitting in the room somewhere. You actually have it hooked into the board. Yeah. Okay. That's good. How's this sound? When we call you, we've called you in the past, right? It's okay. I mean, you can hear people talking to the mics. So. The the last time I got a call, the sound was great. Uh, oh, it's time for a commercial break. Oh, now? You. 
you start to realize it becomes harder and harder to function. Your daily hour with me. Hey, we're back. So, what 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 do you say, Mike? You had to set them over the commercial break. What's going on? All right. Oh, I gotta go. So. You have a meeting. You're gonna do what's the poor commissioner? So you're volunteering with them? No, actually I get paid for this week. Oh, wow. Sweet! Yeah, so I kind of need to be there. So. <laughs> I want to get on TCTV's uh, camera person paying role. I don't know how to do that. Um, ask. Yeah, maybe it'll work. Directly. All right. Don't, don't go through me or Freddie or, or Robert. you got to ask directly. Either Bob or Susan. Yeah. Fine, Bob. All right. Thanks, Mike. Th- Mike's just volunteering all over TCTV. Yeah. You here doing that yeah. thing? They apparently like you. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. They called on me. I didn't go to them. So. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. like you. Mike's a good tea. He's a technical advisor. So thanks, Mike. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll try to fix this other S deck for you. Yeah, well, your oh, advising has very been very technical and appreciated. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. Good luck with the shoot. Don't break nothing. <laughs> don't break nothing. Here, take this, too. Technical advisor slash garbage guy. Here, wait. Well, that you can recycle. <laughs> no, that's it. I'm just joking, Mike. It's out. It's out there. So there is a recycle bin too, so some of that can be recycled. Uh, yeah, it's, out, it's, it's in the office. Oh, whoa! I'm trying to call this McDonald's. Uh, let's call it, this one is in Brazil, Indiana. Brazil, Indiana. That's in another country inside of another state. Yeah. Hey man, you're all decked out. Uh, McDonald's, how can I help you? Yeah, hey McDonald's, you guys got those uh, orange milkshakes? No, we don't. Here you go. Oh, Here do you know go. if you're going to get any of those in soon? Um, I'm not sure right now. They haven't said anything about it yet. Oh, well what kind do you guys got right now then? We just have the three regular ones. Oh, alright. Uh, thank you. Uh-huh. That was McDonald's. Let's try to call Freddy. He's... He's in the woods right now, so I don't know if he's going to answer. He was filming the, uh, the gay pride parade yesterday. Mm-hmm. But then he went camping after that. Did you... Hey, did you Freddy Dobler. I can't come to the phone right now. Oh. But if you leave me a nice message, then I will call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddy. Hey, Freddy. This is the program. How you doing? We're seeing... Uh, I guess you're still in the woods. If you want to give us a call back, uh, we have some news. We have uh, some new machines here and uh, technical advisor, so we're going to get some stuff and we're going to get things working. Uh, you can give us a call back. You have about 20 minutes if you get this, but I think you're going to be in the woods all the time, so have a good time there. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to be gone in 20, so. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Did you do the, did you videotape the gay pride thing too, Dan? No, no, I was busy. I had like four or five other things that I was doing Yeah. Uh, yesterday. Yeah, my... Uh, my stepdaughter has a house, and she's trying to clean up this the the backyard, and it's really it's in rough shape. And so she's mm. pulling weeds. Oh yeah, it's got morning glory all over the place. It's got uh, there's two giant rhododendron trees, and they're just swarming with bees. Ooh! And so every weekend when she has a weekend off, her and her her uh, partner go and they they do digging and raking and and hoeing and chopping and cutting and spraying 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 yeah. the bees. No, no, no. Oh. She just, she doesn't want to mess with the bees because bees are, bees are good. Yeah. Uh, she just, she can't get the work done she wants because they're, they're just, they're like crazy. The only time she can do that is in the evening. Oh. And as soon as the roadies are done blooming, then she's fine. That's we're, yeah. We're, we're a little worried there might be a, a nest in one of the trees because the whole tree just buzzes. Yeah, that would be bad. Have you, like, oh. you haven't got stung by any of those bees yet. No. Has she? No, as far as I know. Oh. That's bad. I don't like bees. They get, they sting you. But I guess they, they, ha- they pollinate things. Yeah, bees will bump you first before they sting you. Yeah. They will sit there and they will fly and they will bump into you. And they will bump, bump. And they will do that a few times. They'll s- s- fly around you in circles and then they'll bump you. And then if that doesn't get your attention, 
then they will sting you. Mm. That's how they're programmed. Remember that, that, that thing with the bees were like having some kind of problems? Yeah, yeah, it was a, um, uh, a virus. Is it, uh, you, do you know about that? Is that well, still yeah. happening? Yeah, oh yeah, I've been reading about that for a year. Yeah? Like a couple of years. And it has is, it is killed off uh, something like half the bees in the country. Whoa. But they're starting to come back, the ones that didn't die from the, the parasitic virus. It's like there was a parasite that most of the bees had, and most of the parasites acquired that virus. And it was the virus that was getting them, not the parasite. And that's why they were so confused, because the bees would have this parasite, but not all the bees with the parasite would die. Yeah. So, so it was kind of... So they're... But they're... Uh they're recovering now? Or? Well, well, it's just like super bacteria. It's the same principle. Okay? You know how people go around and they use that, that hand sanitizer? Yeah. Okay? It kills off 99% of all the germs, right? That yep. was weird. Yep. We have a ghost here, I think. Yeah, what's going on with the yeah. wind or something? So, so the, the uh, I think it's air pressure coming and going. Someone's coming and going, and that's as an air, air pressure changes. That's my junior scientist boy answer. Air pressure. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it's air pressure. Definitely. Oh, air pressure is getting to us. What was that? Yeah. Okay. Or and then I will be back and I will explain the super germ. All okay. right. So we'll be back after this. It's only going to take a, a second though. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so many wires. He's <laughs> falling over. Hello, hello. Are you, are you okay, Dan? Yeah. yeah, he's falling over. He fell over. Could have gotten that on, on, the, on the video. That was, that was a little fall. Too bad you didn't see it. It was, uh, could have been entertaining. We could have put that on, uh, on America's Funny Some Videos. <laughs> Did you see my shoe? My, my foot get caught? Yeah, I saw it. On the show? I saw it, but we didn't, no, we didn't see it on the camera. Okay. I, I saw it. I was looking over there. Though, but, uh, okay, so it's, it's uh, hand sanitizer. There we go. Yeah. That, that way it's like on my t-shirt right there. Yeah. <laughs> So, so there's hand sanitizer that kills 99% of all the germs, right? Yeah. That means that 1% survive. Yeah. Okay. And that 1% will always survive. Yeah. And so those survivors will produce offspring, right? They will, they, they will produce offspring. And there will be a point where the hand sanitizer doesn't kill any of the bacteria anymore because it created a whole bunch of survivors. Okay. Right? You see how that works? Yeah. Okay. So those bacteria are resistant to whatever chemicals in the hand sanitizer that is supposed to kill them. And it doesn't kill them anymore. And so what they do is they create an even more potent sa hand sanitizer that kills off 99% of all the bacteria. The ones that survive are really tough. They're, they're super tough. And... Uh, the 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 current chemicals that are used to kill off the bacteria uh, get uh, more and more potent, and they create more and more survivors of bacteria. And you're essentially creating super germs by killing off the weakest and leaving the strongest. So that's uh -huh. that's why I don't use hand sanitizer. I will wash my hands with soap and water. It's just that simple. Most of the bacteria floating around won't hurt us at all. Yeah. But using that hand, sign, hand sanitizer Greens kills off the weakest, leaves the strongest ones. So the bees are living just from natural selection then? Yeah. That's that's uh, evolution at work. Oh, that's good. They're coming back. So, yeah, don't worry about it. That's why everybody's freaked out. They're like, what are we going to do about the bees? But they're, they're just doing it themselves. Yep. Yep. The ones that are resistant and uh, uh, resistant against the, uh, the virus. They're the ones that survive, yeah. and the virus doesn't kill them off anymore. That's why I think everybody's always trying to fix stuff, and like in nature, you know. And I think that's kind of a maybe bad. You know, all the humans, they want to, they're like, oh, we have a problem. They're trying to fix stuff, you know. Yeah. I don't know if I believe in like you know, like global warming and stuff. It'll fix itself. I think. I'm not worried about it. Um, the level of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere is the highest it's been in. Uh, I think like millions of years. Yeah, but that it is has a, never been said. this high in 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 hundreds of thousands of years. It's super the carbon dioxide is way high. Yeah. Okay, the uh, Greenland is melting. 
okay, there's a mile of gra glaciers on top of Greenland. It's melting. There, the the meltwater is pouring off uh, into the into the the sides. Yeah. The, the North Pole is liquid during the summer. Low it's water. Not frozen. It's the North Pole is not frozen during the summer. It hasn't been last uh, last summer and a couple years before that. Low water. Okay. Massive chunks of uh, South America, South er, Antarctica. Yeah. Are breaking off in larger and larger pieces and floating. So away. yeah, but I guess all that stuff seems bad. But you know, I think it'll just balance itself out. Okay. The other I'm, not, I'm just not worried about it. That's what I. Well, like the, the other, bees, you know. The other problem is is the tundra. Okay? Yeah. All of northern Russia and northern Canada, right, is this tundra, and tundra is permanently frozen ground except for the top inch or two which thaws out during the summer. But there's all kinds of uh, what you'd call peat moss. Okay? Yeah. This is this is partially decayed matter, and it goes way down. Okay. When you warm this up, it starts to decay and produce massive amounts of methane. Mm-hmm. Okay. Methane is also a greenhouse gas. And it's just as strong or stronger than carbon dioxide. So the fact that we're warming things up encourages the release yeah. of more and more gas. So, uh, yeah, that stuff is bad. But the bees are bad, too. But then they take care of themselves. And I'm saying that stuff is bad, but it's not. It's just going to take care of itself. You know, it's bad. That's what I think. Well, what I what I'm suggesting is the global warming thing is a completely different kind of mechanism. It's it's it candy. It, it, there's nothing in global warming that lends itself as an analogy to the bees, except for that it's a natural thing that's going to happen anyway. I think it'll balance it's all well, itself out. If we were producing uh, three billion tons of carbon dioxide like every month, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Human beings, the amount of carbon dioxide that we give off are like, you know, four or five large volcanoes constantly spewing carbon dioxide all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we weren't doing that, uh, there would be more and more of a balance. But because we are, uh, we're pushing it. We're, we're, we're pushing uh, things. Not only that, we're, we're still is that we're cutting down massive amounts of forest, okay? And forest eats carbon dioxide and spews out oxygen. Yeah, but the for I, I heard that the, the forests are, there's enough of them and they, 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 they plant, the, the forest people, they plant the forest too, and they plant more than they, they cut, that's what they say. Well, here, yes. Yeah. Here in Washington, they do that. They, they, they uh, like Simpsons and Weyerhaeuser, they plant trees. Yeah. Uh, in South America, uh, uh, the rainforest in Brazil, Oh, they don't do it, yeah. Well, what they're doing is they're clear cutting. They're cutting down all the trees for the lumber, and then they've got this big old pasture land, and they're sticking cows on it. Mm -hmm. That's where McDonald's and Burger King and, and yeah. Uh, but I heard that they're planning these. more. Well, if I don't know, I haven't heard anything recently. If the government, if the Brazilian government, uh, has gotten its shit together, then yes, they're planting. Yeah. And hopefully they are. If they are, then then that's good. But this is also happening in Africa as well, during all right. in that forest belt. So all I'm saying, uh, it doesn't matter uh, what we believe. What's important are the facts. Okay. That's all. That's I that's what's important. And people can draw different conclusions. What do you guys think? Yeah, call in if you guys th have a, a yeah. think about that kind of thing. Yeah, I know that that people question it, but I've read enough and I know enough of the science involved and how they figured out. Because uh, uh, th just here's an example, okay? They look at uh, the, you. You take a little sample of the air floating around in the wind, right? Mm -hmm. And a certain ratio of that is oxygen. A certain ratio is carbon dioxide, and a certain ratio is ni nitrogen. Typically, eighty percent nitrogen, twenty percent oxygen, and point zero zero one percent carbon dioxide. Something like that, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so what they do is they go to the Antarctic or, or uh, Greenland and they do what is called an ice core. Yeah. And this is this is a glacier that has been slowly moving along for 100,000 years. Or okay. Or 300 or 400,000 years. And they do a core and they do this, this hollow tube and they, they drill this core and they pull that whole core up. And then they slice the core into slices. And they extract the air inside the air bubbles inside the ice. And these air bubbles haven't 
that is a sample of the air that existed 50,000 years ago, 150,000 years ago, 250,000 years ago. So they can literally get a sample. Um, there are also uh, sediments below the ocean, which are samples of the uh, uh, different um, organic material, and they can take samples of the nutrients and the amount of carbon and the levels of carbon uh, in the samples and nitrogen and this sort of thing. So they can they can do that too. But the but the ice cores have been really revealing, really re revealing. Because what they'll do is they'll say, okay, the carbon dioxide level was at this level during this period of time. And then they look at fossilized tree rings and they look at uh, sediments right from sandstone. Mm -hmm. Or they take ocean sediments and they see what was happening in other parts of the world during this either really high carbon dioxide period or low carbon dioxide period. And that's, that's how they can get a sense, well, if things were like that then, there's no reason to assume that they wouldn't be like that now. Does that make sense? Yeah, but I think it's changing, all that stuff is changing, even though they, they, they're from the past, but they just, I think people just go with it. Just go with it. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Everybody worried too much. I mean, there, there's all these problems, and even though they seem bad and all that stuff, we don't know what's going to happen. It's like, oh, it's going to get warm. Everything's melting. Things are going to die. You know, that's, that happens. That's going to happen. I say, let's, 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 let's go for it and see what it is. Let's just go along with that. You well, know? Well, my thing is not to worry. I, I'm yeah. not. I'm not advocating. The oceans are level, uh, yeah, raising, and people are, or animals are going to die. But whatever. Well, all I'm saying is that we try not to contribute to it. That's yeah. all. That's all, right. all I'm saying. I'm. I'm saying, you know, keep a small footprint. Yeah. Know? Recycle shit. That's, That's what, what they I'm say. Saying. Do you can't change the world, but you can change your little corner of it. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Well, that's been. I'm that, saying this, this, this to has been you. This has been your environmental talk yet time here. So. <laughs> We're about we have about six minutes left in the program. I told you I'm a junior scientist. Yeah, Dan, Dan knows that stuff. Yeah, Dan's on every Monday here, and uh, we have a, a pretty good. Oh, there's some birds outside or something. We have a schedule tomorrow. It's gonna be Allison, and then on Wednesday we're gonna premiere the 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 f a rough cut of the documentary, or at least some of it, like the beginning of it. And then uh, yeah, Thursday we have Brianna. Friday with Jessica G's, Saturday with Lewis, Sunday with Sean, and then Monday we have Dan again. Wow, you 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 got all week filled up. Tuesday, yeah, then we have Tuesday, Mike's coming back, the technical advisor. Nice. And then Wednesday, after that we have Robert Cam at he's gonna be here at twelve thirty. Man, man you gotta come stuff. to you got a couple of empty slots there. Yeah. So then we have next Thursday, the twenty third, and Friday the twenty fourth to fill up. So we're gonna try to find uh, people to fill up those days. So if you guys want to call in, you can get the, those those spots filled. That'll be pretty good. Uh, so you want to show the handshake? You want to? Oh yeah. You want yeah, to yeah, tell yeah. people that? Yeah. Is this gonna ruin a secret? Like all the Mormons are gonna be mad at you, right? Yeah, they are. It's not like they can't find it on the internet. Yeah. Oh, all right. It's not. It's not like they can't. Uh, oh, is this thing? No, oh, it's gonna be on. Yeah. Oh, what's it doing? I'm trying to get this ca this camera to work, but it seems like it's oh there. Ah, it is. there we go. Oh, here it is. Let's see this sh the handshake. Okay, right? okay, okay. Here's here's the handshake. The handshake is used by in secret Mormon little ceremonies. Yeah. And it's also the handshake is ex exactly the same that are used by Freemasons to recognize each other. Okay. Okay. So hold out your hand. Okay. Uh, it's like the yeah. So you do. Yeah. It's like this. Yeah. You do one finger on the wrist. One finger like this. Like that. So yeah, wait, I get on the yeah. Like so yeah, you do that, and then and then that's how people know if you're uh, um. Yeah, and you do that. So if you meet somebody and you do that, and then they're a Mormon, like if the Mormons come to your house, you do no, this no, thing. No, Mormons Mormons don't use that handshake except in the secret. Yeah, but what if you do it to them? What what, what what would they do? They'd be like, whoa, what's going on? Like, it fucks with them. <laughs> you get freaked out, yeah? It fucks with them. So That's you ever see happens. a Mormon, okay. you do the secret handshake like this, and then you yeah. put your one finger, and then you yeah, kind of yeah, do the yeah. thing, and then, then they'll be like, what, 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 what would they even think? Well, see, see, it really messed with me, because I had Freemasons, right? What, uh, I had Freemasons shake my hand this way, and I had no idea. But it wasn't until I was told that the Freemason told me that he was a Freemason that I recognize that, and then I had another one say, "Yeah, that's the way Freemasons figure out who's a, who's another Freemason. They shake hands that way all the time." 
And Joseph Smith, the founder of the Mormon Church, was a Freemason. You think people get freak? Well, then they like kind of freak people out. Like if somebody shook my hand, I didn't know who they were, and they did that. Like, what are you doing? Well, like <laughs> here, shake my hand. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Hey. So you do that? Oh, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You don't. You don't really notice it. Oh, okay. Unless you and know, the one yeah. finger, the the meaning, the finger is uh, Mormons believe that Jesus died on the cross uh, with a nail through his wrist, oh, not through his hand. Them, yeah. Oh yeah, and they've done st- they've done studies. The the bones of the hand cannot support the weight of the body. Uh huh. But the, the radius and ulna come together, and they stick the the nail. They stick the thing in between those two bones, and it supports the wrist itself supports the weight yeah yeah and also there's a major nerve that travels through there and it causes the person to suffer even more yeah because it seems like it would, sl- yeah, it would slip out if it's in your hand right yeah yeah, yeah. it would you would just it, it would pull through so 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 basically uh joseph smith got that from the freemason stuff that he was involved in there were a whole bunch of the founders of the mormon church it wasn't was it wasn't just joseph smith it was uh, the rest, his other family members and other friends that were with him that were also Freemasons. Mm-hmm. And they designed all the little secret things to get people to do stuff. But they wanted to make sure that Mormons didn't go around telling, talking about this because they would find out that they were Freemason in origin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Freemasons don't discuss their secret ri- rituals with anyone else because if they did then they wouldn't be so secret now, would they? No. And Mormons don't discuss their secret rituals with anyone else because they don't want... They they want their rituals to be special and secret. Because if you go around talking about them, then, uh, then you're not really special or secret or important anymore. Yeah. So, so you know, uh, I'm sure it... I'm sure it has screwed with a number of Mormons that you go to shake their hand and they do that little they do that little handshake. It messes with them. They get confused. Yes, absolutely. Well, here we are with the big finale of the show. It's the last yeah. minute or so. Yeah. So, and you know what? You can go to the internet and get all this information easily by yourself. You can look at the secret clothing that they wear. You can look at the. You can get pictures of the of the secret underwear. You can get uh, you can get pictures of all the pictures and scripts of all the stuff that happens in the temple. I'm not showing anything new or exciting. I'm just doing it live, yeah. hyper live. Yeah. So so yeah. So do the shake, the handshake. That's a good handshake. Yeah. yeah you know Mormon. <laughs> I think shake maybe we'll hand. we'll uh, maybe we'll incorporate that, and I'll, I'll say it's the year day hour with me handshake also now. So it was already <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> it was already the the yeah. Freemasons handshake, and the Mormon handshake, and now. It's also the UDA I mean, handshake. So if you see me, uh, shake my hand. I'll shake your hand like that. That's what I'm going to do from now on. It's like a new thing. So, yeah, look at that. So That's our secret handshake. handshake. Don't tell anyone. See, it's super secret. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, you can't even... Oh, one minute left. You can't even... It looks regular, too, when you're doing it. It's not like... So, so two more meet each other. But you're not supposed to be... Mormons aren't supposed to be, like, secrets. They're supposed to tell everybody that they're Mormons, right? Oh, they tell people they're Mormons. They just, uh, stuff that happens in the temple is all secret. Yeah. So they got yeah. some kind of crazy secrets, yeah. Yeah, they do. I had a Jehovah's Witness come to my house, and I got his phone number. I was going to invite him on the program, but I lost the, the he gave me like a, a, a extra Bible thing. Yeah, but yeah. I lost they have, it. They have a, their Bible is uh, translated a little differently. I lost it, but I was going to invite them on the program, but if you, you guys are out find, there. You can find those in Goodwill. No, no, but I had the guy's phone number, the guy I met. Oh. I lost oh. it. So if you're out there, uh, Jehovah's Witness guy came to my house, uh, call the number here. Yeah, if you guys are yeah. the Witness people, call people. So thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, TCTV. Yes, thank you very much uh, for uh, uh, making our show possible. This was June, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, we're looking for crew members. You guys can be like Mike and Dan is on the crew now. I see you there. I see you there. Oh, I am. Right on. Yeah, he's on the crew. I don't do that much. But Thanks, viewers. <laughs> yeah, anybody can be on the crew. You don't do anything. Thanks, well, Channel 22. Thanks, TCTV. I provide science information. And you work at TCTV, too. I Thanks, Baby. Baby. What's that? Farmer's hey, Market. Saturdays, 9 a.m. 2 p.m. Grand Prix Elementary. Yay. Tony C. made the commercial. Thanks a lot. Tony C. in the Jets. Yeah, you guys can be on here. Call you for any reason. You can be on there. <laughs> Bye bye, 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 bye bye,